And thank you to the voters who came out and voted for our future. You guys see this as a down payment for the future of Phoenix. This includes so much for the city. Absolutely. We think this will really make us a safer, healthier community. Mm -hmm. You'll see probably the biggest changes in public safety. We're going to probably have a new fire station every year nice. for the next several years. Yeah. So that means faster response times if you need to call 911. Mm -hmm. And making everybody safer is, I know, a big uh, one of your big, uh, you know, mottos here, always making the people safer. And people obviously want that with how they voted. Talk about the plans next and how quickly this things get moving with these approved bonds. One of the first things you'll see is with our parks program. We have some uh, funding for neighborhoods that can meet needs, whether you want pickleball, which is beloved in Phoenix, <laughs> I know, right? or new water fountains for your park. So you'll be able to apply for that, and that'll be one of the first things that you will see. Um, some of our cultural assets, like the Children's Museum, is finally going to be able to complete their construction, and we are very excited about that. Other investments, like the Latino Cultural Center, we're going to have a robust process to talk about what the community wants most. We are, have already gotten some great input, but there's been some new, new areas as well that people are excited about, like the film industry coming mm -hmm. to Arizona. So we will want to hear from you about where we should emphasize that. How do you decide what needs to be done and where? I'm assuming those entities send in requests and then you all sit down and talk about it and decide? So we had a wonderful bond committee that developed this program for us. It was led by business education, nonprofit leaders, and they whittled down the priorities. We had a billion more in projects that would have been wonderful and all sure. great projects, mm -hmm. but we wanted to prioritize it because one of our real goals here was to not raise the tax rate. Mm -hmm. yeah. We heard loudly and clearly from our residents that things are tight right now and they didn't want to see tax rates going up. So we were fiscally conservative with this bond, even though so many of our community members came up with great ideas. So just to explain so. that, it's tied to your secondary property tax, which uh, went up for the 2006 bond. So it's basically just a continuation. Exactly. So you're not going to see it's anything new, new, but mm -hmm. it's for the, you, you have 23 years to pay this off. Yes. So we hope to regularly do smaller investments in mm -hmm. bonds, but allow us to do projects that will last for a generation. Uh, speaking of generations, looking at the older generation, I know one of the big things that was on there, uh, I think it was question number four, was to help seniors and also deal with affordable housing, which we know is such a huge growing problem for all of Arizona. Mm -hmm. We are hearing from our older adults that they need safe places to go, to get healthy meals, to see friends. One portion of our city, the Southwest, ha didn't have anything like that. So Cesar Chavez will get a wonderful senior center where you'll be happy nice. to have mom or grandma, whoever it is, and that'll be wonderful. We're also just needing to fix up some of our existing facilities from senior centers to affordable housing. So some of the bond will do basic things like we have housing where the air conditioners are not working well, and we know mm. that's essential. Mm, but there'll yes. also be some new investments, particularly around the airport in affordable housing so that okay. the people who power our city can afford to live here. Oh, it's just fantastic. How soon will we start seeing these improvements, you think? So we will issue the debt early next year. Okay. Okay. All early right. next year. Mayor, thank you so much for coming by. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a good day to talk about uh, improvements to the yes. city. We're growing. I mean, it's amazing how big Phoenix is and continues to be. We have so many new needs, yeah. and so there may be a new library or fire station coming to your neighborhood. I know. Gina was excited. She said, we're going to get some improvements at our park, so in the library, too. So thank you so much for your yeah. time this thank morning. Thank you for coming by.